I've literally missed out on 16 free gold emblems. Hello everyone, this is the Abyssin here back with another video, and if you play Pokemon Unite and you enjoy it, you need to try Rayquaza Cups. It's completely free, anyone can do it, everyone who plays gets rewards, and I didn't even know this existed. I only found out because I was asked if I could potentially be a substitute for a team, and I agreed, we ended up playing. We actually did pretty decent, we got top 10 in North America, which was crazy, but I'll talk more about that later. You might be wondering, what are the Rayquaza Cups? The Rayquaza Cups are a way to experience Pokemon Unite in a slightly more competitive setting than average, they're held around once a month, and they're pretty cool because you don't have to play in a 5 stack. You might think, hey, it's a tournament, a cup, you have to play in a 5 stack. No, that's not the case, you can actually play in solo queue, you can also do duos, you can do trios, whichever you prefer, or 5 stacks, of course. Now, I'm recording this a week before the World Championships for 2024, which is really exciting. So if you're at all interested in having a slightly more competitive experience of Pokemon Unite, this is the perfect way to kind of dip your toes into that and have your chance to like see how good you are compared to other people in your region. It's pretty cool, pretty easy to sign up for. And you might be wondering, how do you do this? How do you sign up for this? Well, you know that little red dot in the bottom red corner on the main screen? It's I'm probably like showing you on the screen how to do it, but you just click that and you go there, you can see the tournament list. You may have seen this before, I mean, I know I had seen it, I didn't really care about it because I was like, oh, tournaments, I don't play those. Well, anyone can do this. You can even do this if you're solo queue. You don't need to play with other people. But if you participate in these, you get, at minimum, two free gold emblems. That's right, two random free gold emblems will be given to you just for participating. So definitely sign up for these, even if you're not going to be playing the entire time. You can at least play one game, get two free gold emblems, that's it, you're done. Now of course I do recommend you play more because it's kind of exciting to play against other people in this slightly more competitive setting because it's a little bit more intense than ranked, for sure, and you're going to be running into some of the same people, some new people, and it's an exciting way to play Unite, so I do recommend playing more because top 20 people get EOS coins. Yep, you do get coins for this. 10 through 20 get 1,000 coins, and then, I mean, it goes up from there. 9th place gets 2,000, 8th place gets 3,000, all the way up to 1st place that gets 10,000 coins, which is kind of crazy. But of course, getting 1st place is not easy. You're competing against everyone in your region, so not an easy thing, but it is definitely possible to get top 20, so definitely give it a try if you want to see how you fare against other people in your region. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I hadn't known about this, and I was asked if I could be a substitute, so I was like, sure, I'll do it. I didn't know too much. I was like, I can try and substitute. I hadn't played in 5 stacks for over one and a half years. I'd never actually 5 stacked with everyone on comms before, so that was another thing. I used to 5 stack back when Lucario was in the meta. When it was 1-1-3 meta, Lucario was top lane, so I would usually be Lucario, or I would be the jungler as Cinderace, so that was my roles, but... Yeah, I was a bit nervous, and we ended up playing, and we ended up getting ninth place, which was really freaking cool. And it was a very fun experience because I haven't experienced competitive Unite, and obviously this isn't true competitive Unite, but I hadn't experienced five stacks in so long, and it was really fun. I had a lot of fun doing this. You could really see the impact of draft. You see competitive Unite, you see tournaments, and people are target banning things. And I was like, oh, I didn't even think that would be a thing that would happen in these. But then you sometimes play against the same teams and they know what you played last time. They know you're good at a certain Pokemon, so they'll target ban you. And it's like, what on earth? That's such a cool feeling that I never thought I would ever actually experience in Pokemon Unite because I'm not a pro player, but you can kind of potentially feel like one if you're playing with a five stack in this type of setting. So it was really cool. I liked it a lot and it gives draft a whole new meaning. It really, I can't recommend it enough. If you like competitive Unite, if you like Unite, if you like free things, <laughs> please sign up for this. It's super easy. I don't know why I never heard about this. Please comment down below if you've never heard about it. If you have heard about it, let me know too. I'm just curious if I was just a frog in a well and had no idea and everyone has been doing this this whole time and I've just missed out on 16 gold emblems because I had no idea or if other people also don't know about this, but let me know what you think down below. There's going to be videos throughout this week detailing part of my journey and some of the more intense games for me participating in Rayquaza Cup 9 with a 5 stack, so slightly different type of content. All Lucario games, by the way, so if you like Lucario, hopefully you'll enjoy those games. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, let me know, and I will be there in the next video. Cheers.